I uh, love the idea of uh, someone trying to do something very apparently very simple that takes an incredible effort and getting home in the morning uh, in Los Angeles I thought sometimes it happened to me it was very hard to get home after a particularly rough night and if you compounded all these things that could go wrong all in one day plus the idea that people don't necessarily rely on technology so much they don't even know phone numbers in their head that made me think well how stranded could I get somebody um, in um, right lost in the middle of modern day society. I like the ladies. I'm married to one. I have one as a daughter. I like women in general. I think they're funnier than men. And particularly now, these days, uh, there's so many great women, actually. That's a good question because I did want to work with female comedians. Most of my movies have all been male. Adam Sandler and Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller and people like that. And there are so many great female comedians, I, I did think, or female actresses, too, that I thought I'd like to work with. So that was part of uh, why I'd want to make it a female. And um, and it, there was something about uh, would it be harder or easier for her getting across, particularly if she's wearing a yellow dress, um, or people looked at her and immediately made uh, suppositions about her. Megan Miles is the local anchor and uh, second-rated uh, Los Angeles local news station, and She's about to get promoted to a network job, and uh, it doesn't co doesn't come to pass, and she's devastated, and her boyfriend has also left her within the last few weeks, and she goes out with her friends to have uh, a night out and sort of maybe forget everything, and she winds up in the arms of a stranger and having an incredibly drunken evening, and she wakes up in the morning with uh, regrets and no cell phone and no car and being locked out of the place that she had never been to so it was a strange neighborhood and she can't get back in and she doesn't even know the guy's name and she makes a decision to sort of walk out into the world and find her way back home uh wearing just this stuff from last night and that dress and uh and uh she tries simply to get from downtown los angeles to her home in brentwood and you think it would be easy but it's not it, it is a demanding role in that it is it's one of the few movies you'll see that are one person taking every scene, taking you through every part of the movie with a few cutaways, but it's really just her, and, and, and it is the most leading of leading roles you can imagine. And uh, that's not, you couldn't, I don't think you could just throw that to any actor or comedian, and, and Banks is, I think, one of the few people who could do it. So we we're very lucky that we got her. I was talking to Banks about uh, who we could get, and he goes, and she said, what about Mars? And I go, I don't know if Mars would do it. She goes, well, let's call him. And she literally picked up the phone and left him a message. I hope they relate to the dilemma. It's a modern day dilemma. I hope that works. And that's funny and frustrating and interesting and ultimately rewarding when she makes it out.